Now, what's, what's wrong conduct? Wrong conduct is not cap taking and keeping the five precepts. That's easy. For laymen, that's very easy. For monks, it's a little more difficult. Five precepts. Don't kill living beings. Don't steal. Don't have wrong sexual activity. Don't tell lies even though you think it's all right to tell a white lie. Don't tell lies. Don't drink drugs. Or don't drink alcohol or take drugs. Now, this is recreational stuff. To get high. To get uh, some relief from the, the tensions of the day. Now, I know some doctors, uh, my mother's doctor, in fact, she, he told her that she needs to take a little glass of wine before going to bed. She doesn't do it so she can get drunk, but it does help the heart. It is a kind of medicine. It doesn't make her mind so cloudy because it's just a little bit. It's not very much. A lot of the drugs, especially the Chinese, they, they use uh, little bits of alcohol as a preservative for the herbs and such. Now, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about going in and getting a glass of alcohol and drinking it down. Or taking a drug, not because your body is sick, but because you want to escape. Now, what happens when you, when you break one of these five precepts? You wind up causing pain to yourself or someone else around you. It, it should say, I should say, and or. Because you always hurt yourself when you break a precept. It causes remorse to arise in your mind. You wish you hadn't done that sort of thing. This is wrong conduct. Now, what's wrong conduct in thought? The want to deceive somebody else by saying something that's not true. Gossip. Slander. Trying to put a stake between two people. Doing anything or saying anything that causes pain. Wrong thought. What's right conduct? Keeping the five precepts. Don't break them. Practicing your generosity. Helping other people so they can smile and be happy. Telling other people Dhamma. Encouraging an uplifted mind. Now, all of these different things you do with your speech, you do by example with your body, and you do with your mind. Mind first. Again. <laughs>